Statistics and Excel exponential distribution create and compare sample line weighting data to exponential distribution. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, there's three tabs down below. Example, practice blank. Example, in essence, answer key. Practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. The blank tab, blank worksheet so we can practice formatting the cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will be doing, looking at an exponential distribution situation within business scenarios that often deals with line weighting situations as we will be working here. Oftentimes, it's related to a Poisson distribution that we've seen in prior presentations. Poisson distributions typically asking a question such as, What's the likelihood for a certain number of customers to be arriving within a certain time interval, such as minutes uh, or seconds? Whereas the exponential distribution kind of flips the question a bit and is asking, what's the interval of time that is going to be passing before between customers? So what we would like to do this time is try to simulate a situation where we're going out there and we're just basically have our stopwatch and we're marking down the time that is passing between consecutive customers. And if it's following up a, a, a exponential distribution, then we'll be able to plot it out and possibly recognize that and compare that then to the smooth exponential distribution curve to try to get a better intuitive understanding of what is actually happening here. All right, let's go to the blank tab uh, and, and start this out. We're gonna say that first we'll, we'll say that the mean, well, let's format the worksheet. Don't get ahead of yourself. Format the worksheet. We'll hit the triangle up top, right click on the worksheet and format the entire worksheet. Currency, negative numbers bracketed and red, no dollar sign. We'll get rid of the decimals for now. Add them as we need them. Okay. I'm going to embolden the entire sheet home tab font group emboldened. I have been emboldened to proceed. All right, here we go. No fear now because we've been emboldened. So we have the mean arrival rate, and this is going to be in hours. So the mean arrival uh, rate, meaning the average arrival rate, we're going to imagine is 10, meaning we're imagining that on average, 10 people arrive an hour. Now, again, when we're thinking about the number of people that arrive in a time interval, that may follow a Poisson distribution. And if it does, then we would think that the intervals between arrivals would typically be following the exponential distribution. All right. So then we could say that the mean arrival rate in minutes then... If, that, if it's 10 uh, in an hour, the mean arrival in minutes is going to be equal to 10 divided by 60. I'm going to add some decimals. So we're going to say home tab, number group, adding some decimals. So we have about uh, 0.166 per people arriving uh, per minute now. Okay, so then, and so obviously we have to be thinking about what kind of time interval which would be best used for whatever we're working with, hours, minutes, seconds. And so we can say then the inter uh, arrival time in hours, so the, the inter arrival time between, how long does it take uh, between arrivals would be equal to one divided by 10. So if we think about in hours, how long does it take for people to be showing up? We're going to say home tab font group, add some decimals, uh, 0.1 hours, right? So it's probably easier to see this in minutes. So if I say the inter arrival time in minutes, we're going to say, well, how many people sh show up? Uh, uh, point one six six i'm sorry one let's say one minute divided by 
the average people that arrive in a minute, 0.1666, and we'll say enter. So that comes out to about exactly six, I think. Home tab, number, adding some decimals, exactly six. Okay, so so now that we have, let's try to see if we can simulate this data as though we're we're out there with our stopwatch and trying to and trying to see how many people are showing up uh, and how long it takes between each person showing up. So I'm going to make a skinny C here. I'm going to say that the customer and we'll try to count the number of customers that come in, right? So let's say let's just say we do this for like 300 customers, let's say. So I'm going to say then we have one, two. I'm going to select those two and copy it down to 300. I'm just going to say copy it down to 300. And we're just watching these customers uh, come in to pick up our data. I just made up 300 as a random number. So I'm going down to 300. You could use the sequence fill to fill that in if you so choose. And then we have the... Let's call it the inter inter arrival times. I'm going to make this a header format, selecting these two, go into the home tab, alignment, wrapping the text, centering it, make it black and white. Okay, so now we're going to use a, a formula. Now, to simulate this, this data, it's a little bit of a complex formula. I can't just use a random generator. And we don't have the same kind of uh, random generator we saw with the Poisson distribution and the binome with the data analysis. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to make my little random generator here, uh, imagining that we're sitting there and we're simulating uh, us uh, checking out how many people are showing up in the interval of time between people showing up, right? We're just collecting our data. So that's gonna be equal to uh, uh, LN, which is gonna be the natural logarithm. So we have to, so don't, we're not gonna be using a lot of calculus here, but we need that for our random generation. And then I'm gonna say one minus the random, now we're gonna enter our random generation number embedded. And then we're gonna say, close that up. And I'm going to divide that by then the, uh, which one is it? It's going to be the mean arrival rate. Let's do it in minutes here. And then I want this B2 to not move when I copy it down. So I'm going to select.